Hello YouTube, it is Kim or Ms. Bantastic and I am back like I told you I would be. Back to making weekly videos. This is my week 100 lap band update. Um, last week I weighed in at 167 and this week I weighed in at 162. Um, that's a five pound loss and that should tell you how hard I've been working this week. Um, I am officially back on track. So I, uh, what has helped me with that is I joined the Back to Basics um, Transformation Academy Challenge, and that has just been exactly what I needed right now. But to prepare for that challenge, I spent a lot of time um, thinking about what my challenge goals are, what I want to accomplish for the challenge. Uh, I'm going to have to go let that dog in or she's going to howl the whole time. Um, so I spent a lot of time walking around and thinking about that, and I realized I was setting my goals way too low. And so I decided to come in, set my goal for what I really wanted. And what I really want is to be back into the 140s by the end of the challenge. Um, that's my lowest weight yet, and I want to get back there. That's an 18-pound loss, and that is a huge goal. <laughs> um, huge goal. And so I started thinking to myself, what are you going to need to do to accomplish this goal? And um, I didn't realize when I was processing through this how deep I was really going with this, because um, I was just thinking it was on the surface, and it popped into my head, well, you're going to have to give 100%, Kim. Um, and after that popped into my head, uh, I just kind of had this, like, moment, kind of a mini meltdown moment when I realized um, that's it. That's the key. That's the key to why I have not gotten to goal in this last year. Why I have stayed the same for almost a solid year. And that is that I have not given 100%. Um, there's been a lot of videos in the past from people talking about how bad do you want it. And I've responded to those videos saying I hate that. I hate that because of course we all want it. But um, this week, I understood what that meant. Because this week, for the first time in my two-year journey, I want it that bad. Um, I can't tell you how bad I want it. It's like a fire burning in my belly. And um, I realized if I'm going to get it, I have to give 100%. And then what happened is I started taking it deeper and deeper and deeper. And I realized I never give 100% to anything. Um, I get A's. I like A's. And I give a lot of effort. Um, A plus even. I, I can give as much as 98%. But I always hold a little tiny piece back. Always. Um, in everything. Because as we all know, walking this journey, it's not about the food. <laughs> it's about, the food is a symptom of whatever else is going on in our life. And so, um... I always hold a piece of myself back from everything, from relationships, from love, from career, from the weight loss journey. There's always a small piece of myself that I keep hidden and protected. Um, and so I started thinking about that. Why? What is that about? What is that about? Why? What has stopped you from giving 100%? And... You know, you might think that the cause is a fear of failure or a fear of success. Um, it's neither of those things. It, I realized it was neither of those things. What it is, is if I hold back a tiny piece, then if I don't succeed, if I don't make it, I can always say I would have made it had I given 100%. So in the back of my mind, there's that safety net saying, well, I still would have been good enough, you know, if I would have given it all, but since I didn't give it all. And so um, that's huge. I mean, that's a huge realization because um, if I truly want it that bad, and I do, I do for the first time want it that bad, I'm going to have to take the risk I have to take risks. I'm going to have to give 100% of my heart and soul to this effort. Now, I will be a goal at the end of this challenge. Um, then I have one more little jump after that. But I'm going to continue what I'm doing and do that 100%. So anyway, that led to another decision this week, another major decision. And that is I realized I have not worked my band 100% either. Um... 
anyone that follows my journey knows I have never really been at the sweet spot. I've never really had restriction. I've had moments of restriction. Um, little times here and there. And I've had a fill or two where I thought I was getting restriction and then it went away. Um, so I decided if I'm going to give this 100%, I'm going to do the same with my band. Because I was actually holding back with the band too. Um, I took it up to what I thought was 10 cc's. Um, I was afraid to take it all the way to the top because a Again, that's 100%. And what if I take it all the way to the top and it doesn't work for me? So I have held back. Um, so I made an appointment to get a fill because I'm going to take it 100%. I'm taking it all the way to the top. I'm going to give 100% effort and then we'll deal with the consequences afterwards. So I met with my surgeon. I said, take it all the way to the top. It was the PA I met with, not the surgeon. So anyway, she gave me a fill on Thursday and she said, well, I put in one cc. You're now at 10 cc's. So I'm like, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> I already was at 10 cc's. She said, no, her records showed that I was at 9.5. Now, I went back and reviewed my old video, and it was March. My last cell was in March. And the very day after it, I came on my video and said I'm at 10 cc's. So one of us was wrong, me or her, and I don't know which. Um, but e even... Even so, I lost some fluid in my band. Um, if she put in one cc and that ended up at 10, that means I was down to nine. So if she was right, I lost a half cc. If I was right, I lost a whole cc. Um, and I remember making that video in March that she had told me, um, and my surgeon had told me, that you're going to lose a cc every six months. I forgot that. I forgot that. And my band was loose when I went in, let me tell you. Um, so... Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to schedule an appointment with my surgeon every six months ahead. So I've got one on my schedule. Uh, I'm just going to go in every six months. I'm going to have them remove the fluid and give me a tweak fill. <laughs> but anyway, I'm taking the band all the way. Although, frankly, now I'm at 10 cc, so I still have one cc left to go. But I'm pushing this band all the way. And I am going to push myself 100% um, to get to my goal. First, to meet the challenge goal, which is to be in the 140s, and then um, my next goal after that will be to get into a size 6, which I'm thinking will be in the 130s. So, that's all I have to report today. It's been a great week. I'm very excited. Um, I'm still just on mushies after my fill. I have not tried any... Uh, solid proteins, firm proteins. Um, so I will wait to update you on that fill till next weekend. But let me tell you, it's working. That's all I need to say for now. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.